This is the surprising story of a factory in Sri Lanka that produces more than 30,000 tons of coconuts each year. An impressive number, but strangely, most of the product is not consumed domestically, but mainly exported to major markets such as Europe, the United States, and Canada. Behind this huge number is a booming industry, fueled by a huge demand for coconut products. They have quickly become a superfood in the eyes of consumers, with countless uses and health benefits. The strong rise of coconut oil in recent years is a clear testament to this. Since 2018, coconut oil consumption in the United States has skyrocketed by nearly 30%, a promising consumer trend. As people become more aware of the health benefits of coconut, from beauty, skin care, to supporting diets, this makes Sri Lanka, the country known as the coconut paradise, a bright spot in the global coconut export industry. Just five years ago, these factories barely existed. Today, they have blossomed into one of the largest coconut processing operations in the country, raking in a staggering $40 million annually. Coconut oil, coconut water, coconut milk. All of it flows from their production lines, feeding a worldwide demand. The truth is undeniable. The coconut industry is not just profitable. It sustains millions of lives. But beneath this rapid growth lies a story that few are willing to talk about. The obsession with coconuts, it's a passion that's become dangerously intense. Imagine the farmers, like Shihan Madushanka, climbing trees as high as 80 feet, using nothing but their bare hands and feet to detach each coconut from the trunk. Then there are the foreign workers, tirelessly wielding sharp rotary saws to peel the skin off thousands of coconuts every single day. All of this driven by the ever-growing thirst from the West for natural coconut products. But is it all really as good as they say? The health benefits touted by marketers may not be all they are cracked up to be. What's even more worrying is the lack of proper regulation in labeling everything as natural food. This could lead to massive confusion among consumers, making them believe that any coconut-related product is inherently healthy and safe. The truth, however, is often more complicated. Many of these supposed health benefits are nothing more than exaggerated claims to entice consumers. The big question remains, are we paying too high a price just to satisfy an illusory desire for all things natural and healthy? So, how far will the coconut processing factories go in satisfying the world's insatiable thirst for coconuts? Coconuts have been a staple food in Sri Lanka for millennia, deeply woven into the fabric of life and culture here. Today, Sri Lanka remains one of the world's largest producers, harvesting around 2.5 million tons of coconuts annually. But behind these impressive numbers lies a battle that farmers fight daily with challenges that never seem to let up. Coconut trees, however, are not easily nurtured. It takes time for them to grow sometimes over six years before they even begin to bear fruit. These trees can live for up to a century, producing coconuts every month and a half throughout their lifespan. Yet, to ensure a steady supply of ripe fruit, farmers must carefully manage vast coconut groves, following a strict harvest cycle, picking from a different area each day to keep the harvest rolling in. But the struggle doesn't end with harvesting the fruit. Farmers face constant threats from pests that are more dangerous than storms or drought. Whiteflies and the dreaded Asian rhinoceros beetles are some of the worst offenders, ravaging coconut trees. The giant rhinoceros beetles, in particular, are a nightmare for coconut trees they burrow into the core, feasting on the vital nutrients. If a tree becomes too old and weak, farmers must burn and remove it to prevent the beetles from spreading further.
Coconut trees are well known for their resilience to drought and minimal care requirements. These trees can live for up to 100 years, continuing to produce fruit throughout their long lifespan. The process of harvesting coconuts is typically done with long poles, a simple yet effective technique. However, removing the tough outer shell of the coconut is a challenging task and comes with its own set of risks. Farmers use sharp knives or machetes to peel off the outer husk, a job that requires both skill and caution, as the husk is incredibly tough. Despite the danger, this remains the most commonly used method. Once the coconut has been stripped of its outer shell, the remaining coconut flesh is sent to factories for processing into coir, a valuable byproduct derived from the coconut husk. Coir has a wide range of applications in gardening and agriculture. The husk is first cleaned then dried and shredded, after which it undergoes a sifting process to ensure a uniform product. The coir is then compressed and packaged into different sizes. Coir has a lightweight and airy structure, which makes it an excellent material for retaining moisture. It slowly releases water, allowing plants to absorb it more efficiently. This unique property makes coir an ideal material for hydroponic and aeroponic growing systems. Not only does it retain moisture for plants, but it also supports their growth in soil-free environments, optimizing the cultivation process. Coconut cream, a delicious and versatile ingredient, has become an essential component in many desserts, sauces, and a variety of other recipes. Whether it's for creating sweet treats or adding a unique twist to sauces, coconut cream always brings a distinct flavor and richness to dishes. So, how is coconut cream produced? The process starts with the white flesh of the coconut being finely shredded and mixed with water. This mixture is then filtered to extract pure coconut milk. The coconut milk is then separated into cream and liquid milk through a process known as centrifugal separation, a technique that uses the difference in density to separate the components. This process results in thick coconut cream, rich in fat, while the liquid milk is lighter and less fatty. Once the coconut cream is obtained, it undergoes pasteurization to eliminate harmful microorganisms and extend its shelf life. The pasteurization process involves a series of heating and cooling stages to ensure the product's safety and quality, helping the coconut cream retain its natural flavor and remain safe for consumption. Therefore, coconut cream not only serves as a fantastic ingredient in cooking, but is also safe and long-lasting for use. Coconut cream powder, a unique and convenient product, is made from dried, shredded coconut meat. This coconut cream powder carries the distinctive flavor of fresh coconut, adding richness to various dishes and beverages. The production process begins with finely shredding the fresh coconut meat, which is then dried or dehydrated to preserve the coconut's essence while reducing moisture content. The result is a fine powder that easily dissolves in water or other ingredients, making it perfect for creating delicious coconut creams or as an essential ingredient in desserts and cooking. Coconut Shell Charcoal, another product derived from coconuts, is an organic charcoal obtained by burning coconut husks. This type of charcoal is known for its strong burning power and low smoke production, making it an ideal choice for cooking and grilling. Not only is it highly effective in providing heat, but coconut shell charcoal is also an environmentally friendly product made from natural materials with no harmful chemicals. 
The combination of strong performance and eco-friendliness has made coconut shell charcoal a popular product across various industries. One cannot overlook coconut oil, a precious natural oil extracted from the flesh of coconut fruit. Coconut oil is white, solid at room temperature, and has a distinctive tropical fragrance. It is widely used not only in cooking, but also in cosmetics and medicine, thanks to the incredible health benefits it offers. The process of extracting coconut oil begins with carefully removing the shell of the mature coconut. The husk is then used as raw material for the oil extraction process while the coconut meat is grated or sliced and dried. This drying process can be done under the sun or in an oven, depending on the conditions and production requirements. Coconut oil is rich in medium chain fatty acids, particularly lauric acid, which is beneficial for the body. It also contains antioxidants that help protect cells from free radical damage. Additionally, coconut oil can speed up metabolism and promote fat burning aiding in weight loss and maintaining a healthy body. There are two main methods of extracting coconut oil, pressing and cold pressing. In the pressing method, the coconut meat is mechanically pressed to yield a large amount of oil. Heat may be applied during this process, resulting in unrefined or cracked coconut oil. Unrefined coconut oil undergoes chemical and physical treatments to remove unwanted odors and flavors. Refined coconut oil, in turn, has a lighter color and more neutral flavor, making it ideal for cooking and cosmetic use. Finally, the coconut oil, whether refined or unrefined, is packaged into bottles, jars, or other containers, ready for consumer use. Whether refined or unrefined, coconut oil brings undeniable benefits to everyday life. Coconut milk is a natural beverage extracted from the flesh of fresh coconut, offering a sweet, rich, and nutritious flavor. It is widely used in cooking, from desserts like ice cream, puddings, and cakes, to savory dishes such as curries, soups, and sauces. The combination of its creamy texture and distinctive coconut aroma makes coconut milk an ideal ingredient for creating unique and flavorful dishes. The production of coconut milk begins with grating or chopping fresh coconut flesh, which is then mixed with water and pressed to extract the coconut cream. The mixture is filtered to remove any impurities, leaving behind pure coconut milk. Coconut milk comes in two main varieties, thick coconut milk and thin coconut milk. Thick coconut milk has a higher fat content and is commonly used in dishes that require a creamy consistency, while thin coconut milk with a lighter fat content is used for beverages or cooking lighter dishes. In addition to its delightful taste, coconut milk offers numerous health benefits. It contains medium chain fatty acids, particularly lauric acid, which helps boost the immune system and support metabolism. Furthermore, Coconut milk is rich in vitamins C and E, which nourish the skin and protect the body from harmful environmental factors. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the information and discoveries in this video interesting, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more exciting videos and amazing adventures ahead. We'll bring you more fresh stories and useful insights in the upcoming videos. See you in the next one.